Overnight line movers, SBRodds.com, best place on the internet to check those line moves because, as we say, they're moving 24-7. How about the same old song, Teddy, we sing all the time here with the Baltimore Orioles? Hey, Orioles open up as a favorite. Oh, no, they're now a dog as Toronto flips to a favorite. Blue Jays and the Orioles plus 106, total of 8.5. Thornton versus Means here, Teddy. Yeah, I'll tell you this, not my money. Uh, flat out, <laughs> not my money coming on Toronto. Toronto stinks right now. They've lost. They got swept over the weekend. I mean, crushed in every game over the weekend. They're three and fourteen. Their last seventeen ball games. Uh, their last one hundred and twelve at bats with runners in scoring position. They're hitting one sixty one. Trent Thornton, though, is a guy who the markets like at least a little bit. And he's not good. He really isn't good. Uh, high walk rate, low ground ball rate, but his xFIP is lower than his ERA. But what's this move about? It's all about means. The markets don't like them. 2.67 ERA. The numbers are good, but the XFIP is bad. 4.98. And you see a guy with an XFIP more than two runs higher than his ERA. You can count on money coming against him. What's going on? Well, he doesn't strike out a whole lot of batters, and he's been real lucky with the home run rate. The betting market's not expecting either of those. <laughs> well, <laughs> they're expecting him to continue not to strike out batters, but his luck with the home run rate not to last means a wise guy fade. That's why we're seeing money come in on the horrible Blue Jays. Again, not my money. Yeah, not exactly a uh, pitcher's ballpark there at uh, Camden Yards. We'll see what happens in that game. Better's back in Fulton Avenue tonight in Hotlanta. Bats were hot last night, and tempers were hot last night as Josh Donaldson got thrown out last night and also the pitcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Braves open up at minus 135, now sit at minus 146. Fulton Avich more down than up this year. You could probably say the same thing for Chris Archer as well. It's Archer and Fulton Avich tonight in Atlanta. Well, uh, there's a, a, a little bit of Atlanta love here. Look, nobody wants Pittsburgh right now. And all the metrics are showing Pittsburgh. You want to see a team that's live for a nasty June swoon. The Pirates are that team. They've lost four in a row right now. Archer's strikeout rate is way down this year. His ground ball rate is way down this year. You know, Pittsburgh, not a team that the markets are excited about, not a team that I'm excited about uh, right now at all. Uh, and, of course, the rematch from the start last week. Pirates won that game 6-1. to one. Fulton A, which wasn't pretty in that contest. He's given up 15 homers in 44 and a third innings. He gave up only 17 homers last year. But the quote from catcher Brian McCann is bet on. Quote, he's going to be there. The ball is coming out of his hand really good. And his stuff is as good as it comes. We'll get more consistent and be better. Worth noting, Fulton A, which does not have a pretty track record against Pittsburgh, even prior to his ugly start last time against them. Cubs line increases on Tuesday morning, looking to bounce back in the win column as Colorado took the game last night. And how about this little rematch? Lambert comes up, Teddy, surprises those Cubbies, but now we get that all-impressive second look here. Quintana versus Lambert. Rockies getting about a plus 114, total of 12, typical of Coors Field. Yeah, it's going to be very hard to top what Lambert did in Chicago. You know, he struck out nine in seven innings, uh, giving up just one run, four hits, one walk uh, in that ball game. Uh, second baseman Brendan Rodgers, the edge of the game. That's what I thought up in my head of what the outcome of his debut was going to be. This guy that went, uh, kind of went through him and win the minos. It gave me chills watching him get out of some of those jams. That's what he does. He grinds. He attacks hitters. And he gets soft outs. Of course, you know, uh, the last night, the Rockies find a way. And Quintana, I, I mean, he has not been as good as expected. He did pitch fairly well against Colorado last week, 7-3, to third, gave up just three runs in that ballgame, but doing the same thing at Coors Field, never an easy thing. 